Hey guys, welcome towards the scale. So perplexity has been my go-to tool when writing constant recently, and I just enjoy that it has so many modes. You can upload files, you can use either Cloud or GPT-4, but the question you guys keep asking me is something like, how can I write long-form copy with perplexity? Perplexity gives me these seven, 800 word outputs that are not sufficient for a regular article. Help me. And I have to resort to the prompts that I've been using <laughs> quite a few times in my videos here. And I don't like repeating myself, but I have to almost. And there is some logic behind it. Since both Perplexity and ChatGPT and Claude are terrible at recognizing the word counts or the amount of words you wanted to produce, you need to change the approach entirely and kind of trick Perplexity into thinking you are writing separate articles when in fact you're writing one huge article. And it all starts with a very simple prompt like generate 10 popular questions about crypto mining at home. And I think this has been a, an overused topic uh, in my video. So let's think of something else. Generate 10 popular questions about... Hmm. Oh, hmm. Uh, let's do Dolly 3. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Generate 10 popular questions about Dolly 3. Here are 10 popular questions. What is Dolly 3? How is Dolly 3 different from Dolly 2? What new features does Dolly 3 have? How can I get access to Dolly 3? What are some example uses of Dolly 3? And actually, guys, I think I might be publishing this article myself. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I will still show you the works. So let's just make sure these are indeed 10 questions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And this was the first prompt. So 10 questions. And since uh, Perplexity and Claude do have an increased context window, we can be sure that by writing a separate article for each question, the uh, AI will still remember what we meant in the beginning. And the second part is very simple and you just need to copy paste it. Take the first question from the list and write a 1000 word article using markdown formatting, bolded words, lists and tables, very applicable. Do not overuse them. So another comment that I get a lot in regards to perplexity and Claude is that sometimes it just overuses lists and tables, more so lists. And I haven't found like a great way of uh, dodging that for now, but this may work. So once again, now we're tricking AI into thinking that we are writing 10 separate articles where in fact this will constitute a one giant article. And I've had uh, an upwards of five, six, seven thousand words, uh, word articles with this approach, but we'll see where we end up. Let's fire up our handy markdown to HTML. And yeah, so this is the prompt to take the first question from the list and write 1000 word articles. Another question that I get a lot with perplexity is that in sources sometimes we get some weird stuff not related at all like Adobe, GitHub, maybe Zendesk. But I haven't seen it affect the output all that much. I kind of let it slide. So the first question is what is Dolly 3? Okay. Next question. Second. And of course, when you get to the compiling stage, when you glue everything together, you need to get rid of duplicate conclusions, duplicate intros, and duplicate subheadings, if there are any. And this is the second output. So okay, I've decided to cut down on the questions. So we've done question one, two, three, four, and five. And I think I like... Um, 10, 9, 8, I think I like number 7, and I like number 10, so this would be good. The comparison with Midjourney and the prompts. So we've actually ended up with a hybrid. So Dolly E3 versus Midjourney, how do they compare? Overview of Midjourney, Dolly capabilities. We are getting some links as well, which is always nice, external links. Conclusion, while well, there is a debate around which system produces better images overall, each has a unique strength. Majority offers creative freedom and community while Dolly 3 provides photorealism and control. I don't think I'm agreeing with what is being written here, but again, this is you need to proofread your outputs anyway. 
and I'm just showing you a way of creating a longer article with perplexity. So we wanted to end up with question 10. So the 10th was, was what prompts work best with Dolly. And we've, we've got a lot of text here, but still perplexity remembers what the last question was. This one here. Use full sentences, write prompts as full sentences, for example, an astronaut riding a horse on Mars for the realistic digital art rather than astronaut horse Mars, avoid ambiguity, inspire, don't restrict. And again, this is a tough topic, guys. So perplexity might not have enough information about Dolly 3, but still, let's take a look. So what is Dolly 3? How Dolly works, current limitations, how Dolly improves over Dolly 2, enhanced image quality, better context comprehension, wider range of, wider range of styles, okay, new capabilities, integration with ChatGPT, nice. Photorealistic image generation, control or styles, complex idea generation. Here is some overlap with the previous one, that's what I was talking about. Gaining access to Dolly 3, staggered release model, priority access groups, paid access products, free limited access, join the waitlist. How to use Dolly. And finally, Dolly versus Me Jury. So again, this is a very tough topic. And you need to proofread it if it was something like, again, crypto money at home. Um, Perplexity would have nailed it, but the idea was to see how many words we will end up writing. So, 3,000 words, guys, 3,000 words, and you might want to get rid of a thousand words, for example, if you want to be picky, but still, this is a way to of producing longer copies in uh, Perplexity, and as you can see, let's go back to Markdown. I don't think there is an overuse of lists. There are some lists, but... Well, there is a lot of lists immediately, but I think that the topic asks for it, since we are talking about features, comparisons, and whatnot. Okay, so there you have it. Play around with it. It's not perfect, but uh, I don't know any other way of creating longer form outputs with perplexity other than this style here. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.